everyone, my name is Dorothy Chia and you're watching my video channel, uh, Dorothy Chia Piano, where I talk about all things piano teaching and piano learning. Today I'm going to lift a question from my book, Piano Pedagogy, and it's on page 37. So question number five on page 37 asks, do you think the quality and make of a piano influence the tone that a piano produces? Before I answer the question, the book that I am holding, Piano Pedagogy by Dorothy Chia, together with the answer book, is on a Black Friday promotion this entire week. So do take a look and I will post the link of my store in the description box below. So as you can see in my studio, I have an acoustic grand piano and I have a digital piano behind. So let me use these two instruments to illustrate the answer. A lot of parents and a lot of musicians pianists included, think that the sound production comes from the point of contact between your finger and the instrument, like so. And I'm going to do a close-up now so you can look and listen. Let me bring my camera nearer to the instrument and I'm going to use middle C as an illustration. So we're going to listen to the sound at the point of contact as well as the sustain of that sound after the sound has been struck, after the key has been struck. I'm going to play it with a drop in this in my fingers. And I'm going to play a very quiet sound now. Using the same middle C, I'm going to play the sound and we'll listen to the sustain after the sound has been struck. I'm going to play a very quiet sound. Let's do that again. So back to the question of whether the make of the piano affects the tone production. And I would say yes. From the mechanics that we do not see, the parts that is in the piano, the type of wood that is used to make the piano, the country of origin of the piano, all makes a difference. And we can see that the sound of an acoustic piano vastly differ from that of a digital piano. And why we invest in a good quality, good make, of the instrument of the piano is because of this precise difference in the tone production that we are after. So it is not enough to just listen to the surface sound of the music uh, at the point at which your finger plays the notes. Okay, so a lot of non-musicians, I think that is all they see and that's all they hear. So as long as the instrument makes a reasonable, even sound, that is acceptable to them. 
But the higher you go up in your musicianship and in your study of the instrument, you'll find that you would want and demand more of yourself and the instrument and what it can deliver because um, the tone makes all the difference. Think of it as like you are choosing a pair of sunglasses. Yeah, Is it enough that you choose a, a pair which has the lenses coloured and so things look um, more muted? Or would you go for one that actually protects your eyes from UV rays and blocks off the harmful rays uh, from entering and passing through the lens so that it really uh, protects your eyes rather than just aesthetically looking pleasing. So same thing, a piano is really we are purchasing it beyond the uh, aesthetic look of the instrument. It is also what the tone it can deliver. Yeah, it depends on the tone that your instrument is capable of delivering. And the, of course, personally, I like a tone that is not too bright and one that sings and is pleasant to the ear and has a very even sound. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment in the box below. Until the next week, bye-bye.